Right. Hi there, guys. I think that's working. I think I'm live. I thought I would pop on and do another little sales roundup and share with you a bunch of things that I've sold on eBay. I've done a few of these live there recently. Hang on. I think I'm live. That's me talking to myself. There we go. So I'll give it a few minutes before I get going and let a few people pop in if they're going to. Uh, I can see Peter Ray in the side chat. Swamp Picker, hi there, mate. Sydney Lauper, hello there. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Nick Hills. Um, I am an online reseller. I buy and sell stuff on the internet. You can probably see some of the accumulation of junk I have with me here. And on my YouTube channel, I just share how I go about doing that, what I buy and sell. I work with my wife. She's in a lot of the videos as well. But for this one, it's just going to be me. And the format of these is that I'm, I've picked out a bunch of things that I've sold in the last couple of weeks. Hopefully the more interesting, uh, notable sales, things that you may have seen me pick up in haul videos. Um, and then, yeah, you'll see what I managed to sell them for. So we're going to go into eBay in a minute and I'll show you the actual listing, show you some of the photographs. And yeah, you'll find out what I managed to sell it for. And hopefully there'll be some useful information in there that will help you while you're out and about picking up stock. So I can see we're gathering a bunch of people. Hi there. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Um, Lee's Fines. Hi. BC. Hello. Cats Rants. Welcome. Jason. Hello. Lady Lolly. Lincoln Seller. Hello there. Can you show us a graph? I don't tend to do the graphs, really. Um, I'm not sure how relevant that is to other people. I think for me, it's more about the items, sharing with you items that have done well for me and, and maybe helping you pick up some stuff. I'm not sure how helpful it is to tell you whether I've, how much I've earned this week or whatever, or how much I've sold this week. Um, so we've got Andrea's Attic in as well. Welcome. Just going to scroll to the end. Bianca says, hi again. Yes, I was over on Zahir's channel earlier. Um, I was late into that because I've been out. It's, it's my wife Andrea's birthday today. We were out in London earlier. We got back late. It was all a bit of chaos. Uh, hi, Richard and Star Fox. I like your Snares t-shirt. Yes, I love this t-shirt. Snares is my all-time favorite console. Always will be. The graph was a joke, Nick. That's fine. <laughs> I know some, some people love all of that, but yeah, it doesn't float my boat. I enjoy watching other people's graphs, to be fair. I like it when Zaheer shares his, but okay. So I'm going to go into screen share now. And I think there was, I think I picked out about 20 sales, but I will try and whiz through them, share the relevant information and crack on. So that's going to be the plan. I have a bottle of wine waiting for me in the living room, so I'm not going to hang around. So let me set up a screen share we'll find the right button there it is why is it not doing anything here we go right da, da, da. that one okay so let me know if you can see a imagine x batman set in the chat once i know that's all working we'll crack on um, I'm going to try and get the live chat on screen at the same time. I will pass on the happy birthdays. <laughs> yep, okay, you can see that. Right, so uh, I think it was about a week ago I picked up two of these. This is Imaginext. I'm not sure offhand who makes it. I'm not sure the, the brand, the company that makes these, but it's the branding is Imaginext. Uh, it's a lot of superhero stuff. This is Batman. And little bat cave set. I think I got a, two of these play sets for six pounds. Wasn't the best deal in the world. I got twelve ninety nine plus six ninety nine shipping on this one. I also picked up a Superman set uh, as part of that pickup, and that one is on for ten pounds with shipping. So if I manage to sell both, that'll be twenty three pounds plus shipping back from six, which isn't amazing, but yeah, it's okay. That one sold quick. The other one is still listed. So it's worth doing, but not amazing money, as you can see. Um, all right, I'm going to try and remember to close the windows down as I go this time. Why is it not closing? 
I have clicked close. Come on, window. Do your stuff. There we go. Okay, next one. Ah, about two weeks back, maybe, I shared a video of me setting up and playing about with these. Um, these are Thomas and Friends Trackmaster um, sets. There's some money in this. Um, they're a bit fiddly if you're going to go to the lengths of checking it all, as I did, um, as you will have seen in that video. Um, I got these as a pair at the car boot sale for a fiver, ended up putting them on as a pair like this, as you can see, and I pitched it at 29.99. I potentially could have got a bit more. I could have sold them individually and maybe got a bit more, but I was happy to do it that way. That's with 6.99 to cover courier on it as well. So yeah, happy with those. Didn't hang around too long. And on the back of that video that I shared where I was basically messing around with these, um, I said I had some little bits left over and showing my naivety, I didn't realize what they were, but somebody kindly messaged me and said that they were track adapters and that they're worth listing. So the next, if I've done this right, the next uh, page I'll show you, why is that not closing? There we go. Oh, sorry, it's really taking its time. There we go. Um, there were two of these in each of those boxes and these are little track adapters so you can hook that Trackmaster track up to other like Thomas track. And I had two lots, one from each box, and I listed them at 6 95 free shipping. Now these went as a large letter, cost very little to ship. So yeah, that was, let's say after shipping and fees, I ended up with a five or a pair. So that was a tenner it's back straight away. It took a couple of days to sell both pairs. So yeah, that was great. I'm just shuff shuffling this along so I can have a look in the chat at the same time. Hold on. My windows are being really slow. Um, BC says, I've just bought the top one for a pound. Unused, but the box is battered. What, you mean the Thomas set? That was a bargain then. Um... <laughs> if you were able to sell your items on ebay you wouldn't be sending all your stuff up to music magpie and getting pennies um i send the absolute rubbish that i need to get rid of to magpie i don't sell stuff that's worth selling on ebay to magpie that would just be daft um nick has eighteen thousand subscribers so he's able to <laughs> so he's able to throw his money down the drain yeah i wish Okay, so that's those. Um, yeah, I can't remember who gave me the tip off that these were worth money, uh, but thanks for that because I managed to get an extra tenner out of those. Close that down. Uh, hi, Richard says, hi, you're watching from my storage lockup, picking my sold stock up. Excellent. Right, this one is a, you may have seen, I picked it up a couple of weeks back for a fiver. Um, I sold this for £30 free shipping. Um, I couldn't find a listing for it on Amazon. This looked about the top end of what I thought I could achieve on it. It sold stupidly fast. So maybe I could have held out for a little bit more, but I was happy with that. It was a, quite often these dictaphones have those tiny little formats of cassette. This was a standard, you know, the standard cassettes that we all used to have in the eighties. It took those. So it was quite interesting. Um, and yeah, sold fast. It was boxed with the instructions, which really helped. So maybe I could have pushed for a bit more. But um, yeah, I was happy. It went straight out the door. So that's that. So it's taken ages to close each window out. Come on, do it. There we go. Uh, next, I picked these up. It was a while back. They've sat on the shelf because I couldn't be bothered to deal with them um it's what was it 22 i was going to go into pictures and show you guys i think it's 22 um there's actually a couple of duplicates in here <laughs> two of those color magic one had a battered cover and i just thought i'll chuck it in just as a spare and there was one of these books that well, there was a hardback and a paperback copy but i just i wanted shot of the lot so i bundled them all together um they weren't in the best condition they were a little bit musty um 
the spines were quite sun damaged. You can probably see in the pictures actually. And one of the covers was really bad. Let me go back to the main image. There you go. That fifth elephant one there. You can see the amount of sun uh, bleaching on that. Um, so I whacked them off uh, on. I whacked them off. <laughs> I stuck them on eBay um, at a price I thought was reasonable for that collection, which was thirty nine ninety nine free shipping, and they sold within a few days. So yeah, I think I judged it about right. Similar bundles have gone for more, but in much better condition. And this was a mixed lot of hardback and paperback. But there's, I've been selling Terry Pratchett stuff for well since I've been on eBay. There's always a demand for it. Still an incredibly popular author. So, you know, it's worth building up a bundle. I don't tend to buy them individually and, and build up bundles anymore. This was a ready-made bundle I bought at the car boot sale. I think I got the lot for around £5, something like that, maybe a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, glad that's gone. That was taking up a lot of space. Um, yes, Jason, whacked off. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Anyway, that's that one. Uh, yeah, happy that's gone. That was a big, bulky lot. So next one. Oh, this is taking ages to close each window down. I think I'm. Uh, my computer's running slow. Come on, window, change. Right. Um, yeah, on a little garage trail sale, whatever you call them, uh, Andrew and I picked up a bunch of... Um, a couple of books about witches and spells and white magic. Um, and this set of, they're sort of like tarot cards, and then a, a course on being a white witch. Uh, paid £25 a lot, I think it was. Uh, when I came to list these, um, I opened them up and they were brand new inside, never been out of the box. So I... I jumped up from what I was going to list them at, which was 10, and then stuck them on for 20, and they sold internationally within hours. Um, somebody paid, I think it was £10 international track shipping on these. Uh, so, yeah, really happy with that. And one of the uh, spell books, Heather, Treasure Pirate, is going to buy off me when she comes down for the meetup, so I'm letting her have that one for cheap. And that's kind of covered my investment. So, yeah, really happy to get rid of those. Hi, Krillin. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Krillin says, any news on Brexit concerning eBay sellers? Nothing yet. We're still negotiating trade deals and all of that. So nothing, to be honest, mate. Uh, Hi, Council Estate Reseller. Says, nice sale. Thank you. Yeah, I was pleased with those. I thought I'd be waiting for a while at that price, but um, yeah. Richard says, saw some tarot cards Sunday, wish I'd bought them now, probably not worth that much. These aren't standard tarot cards. These are a specific edition um, from the little I know about it. You can get kind of what you might call bog standard tarot cards, and I think they're fairly cheap all over eBay. Um, these were something a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, Paul Calvert, welcome, says, question, what would you do with a job lot of around 100 books of all types? I would probably leave them well alone. Um, books, the majority of books aren't worth bothering with. It would depend what they are, um, to be honest. If it's special interest stuff, maybe, but I don't know. But proceed with caution because a lot of books aren't worth bothering with. Right, this one. Um, finally got around to listing this. It was sat at the back of the office for ages. I think it was the same uh, like jumble trail thing where I picked up those those uh, white witch items and those cards. We picked up this. Now, I believe we paid a tenner. Ten or fifteen. I think it was ten. Um, it's a bush baby child carrier. If I go into the pictures, it's kind of the higher end of these. You can get much, much cheaper ones than this. I think these are up into the hundred, hundred and fifty pound new. Um Really big thing, really well well made. It's got like storage at the bottom there. It's basically built like a, a well-made rucksack. It's got an aluminium frame, all of that sort of stuff. It had the sunshade. It didn't have the rain cover, but I still pitched it at the right top end of what I thought I could get for this. That's the detachable little sunshade. So yeah, that's what it was. So I stuck it on at 60. Actually, it was on 69.99 for a couple of 10-day cycles, I think. And then I dropped it a fiver last time I relisted it. 
and it sold super fast the last time. So I don't know if that five pounds made the difference, but it's gone. It's a bit of a pain to package because it was so big, but it went, yeah, really pleased with that. And when this sale came in, 10 minutes later, this sale came in. Come on screen. We'd had quite a poor day. And then within like half an hour, whatever it was, we had had two £65 sales. Free shipping. So there was, you know, bear in mind there's a chunk of shipping to come out. You've always got to take your fees out. So bear that in mind. Um, but I was pleased with this. I picked this up at the boot sale for 20 It's a cry cut or a cricket cuttle bug. It's like an embossing machine. It was new in the box, which is how I managed to achieve this much. Second hand, you're looking at nearer sort of £40, maybe a bit less um yeah got 65 free shipping and yeah very happy with that uh let me just dip in the chat lots of people popping in to say hello um oh paul says i got them all for nothing so i guess i've got nothing to lose yeah i mean if they're a freebie then go for it like you say you've got nothing to lose and if they're all rubbish you can give them to charity i thought it was a job lot you'd seen and you were perhaps thinking about buying it um yeah if it's freebie why not pick out a couple of gems hi david m the car boot picker how are you michelle lathan welcome just sharing a few sales i've had recently so that was the cry cut cuttle bug uh paid 20 sold for 64.99 free shipping just waiting for my screen to change oh come on computer Oh, I thought I'd share this. I think this might even be the only item from that whole car parts haul. I resisted putting any in apart from this one. The only reason I shared this was I was surprised. This sold like, I don't know, a week ago. So it's still pretty much summer, although, yeah, we're, summer's fading away now. But this is an AA-issued emergency winter car kit with a spade to dig your car out of the snow, um, like a foil blanket. You know just random what people buy uh in the middle of summer or at the end of summer uh, i've got four left of these sold four already they came from that car parts haul they owe me next to nothing um so yeah hopefully i'll shift the rest as we head towards winter but yeah easy money on those and next ah oh, thank you goodness finally got rid of this um those that have been following the channel for a while will have seen perhaps this was beginning of summer spring sort of time i think we were at a village jumble sale and this set of barber cartland books was underneath the table the whole set one to 40 hardback books and the guy wanted a pound for it so I bought them. I've had them listed. I had them on at 50, I think, for quite a while. And then I marked it down a couple of times because I wanted them gone. I was fed up of looking at them. Uh, and they eventually sold at 39.99. That is free shipping. They were extremely heavy. I think shipping was, uh, I don't know, it may have only been a tenner. I think that, yeah, about 10 pounds. Um, but yeah, from a pound, even when you take shipping, and the fees out that's still well worth doing so yeah th these book sets are worth looking out for i just scroll through there you go you can see it all numbered on the spines there oh there you go the romantic novels of barbara cartland you can sell anything if you try hard enough peter says vaguely remember the barbara cartland books yeah it's a while back pete it's <laughs> They've sat around way longer than what I expected. Wow, how heavy were they? I can't remember exactly, but they were heavy. That was like eight or nine kilos, I think. Something ridiculous. Um, so yeah, really pleased last couple of weeks to get rid of a lot of bulky stuff. You know, all of these those um, Pratchett books and these, that baby carrier that cry cut set and then the nerf um i'm only going to put i think it's three or four of these nerf lots in i've sold virtually all of the nerf you may remember a picture i shared in the tat chat facebook group of a mountain of nerf on the floor i sorted it into lots um 
I did most of it in bundles like this. I sold off. I've sold, uh, I think there's one individual gun I'm going to share with you because uh, it was quite an interesting gun I, I very rarely see. But I sold a couple of the bigger guns off at £35 each. Um, this was a bundle of the blue and orange uh, N-Strike stuff. So you've got 10 different guns in there. The ammo that you'll see, you can buy it in bulk. Uh, I know a bunch of resellers who do this. There's probably about a pound or so's worth of ammo there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's 80-odd ammo there. Um, but it just makes the, the bundle sell that much better. It makes it much more appealing. If somebody is buying this for their kids and they don't have any Nerf guns, they don't have any ammo, it just makes the bundle that much more appealing and it costs you very little. So I'd recommend that. I remember um, a couple of other people have shared that they do that in videos. I can't remember who, you know, I think Ben does it. So yeah, that one, what did that one go for? Uh, 59 .99 with 9 .99 shipping cost to me there let's say about 15 pounds maybe something like that so well worth doing uh, uh, I think this next one is another bundle once it loads up yep so again from that same heap of nerf that I'd saved up throughout spring summer this was all the end strike stuff that is the yellow and orange branding um so this one how many guns have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve if you include the tiny little jolts um a pair of the official glasses a couple of spare um magazines and again a bunch of ammo one two three four five six seven yeah 100 ammo and two of the little shields that i stuck on at 49.99 with shipping and didn't hang around long so yeah very happy with that question where do you get the ammo for the nerfs ebay yep simple as that um i can't remember if this time i imported it but you can you can get it sent from china and i think that's the cheapest way but then you have to wait a few weeks so yeah uh bc says ben youtube is a poorer place without his videos his reseller ones anyway yeah, Ben was great at what he did on YouTube and is a great reseller. Lovely chap as well. Um, he's been on this channel a couple of times. Yeah, he's still making uh, travel vlogs and stuff like that. So check him out if you can. A couple more Nerf ones quickly. What have we got here? This is the individual. I'm not showing all the individual guns I've been selling. This was a dark tag swarm fire if i showed this amazing gun you put batteries in it's fully automatic you shove like 20 darts in the front of it and look at that it's such an impressive gun it's the only one of these i've ever found and yeah sorely tempted to keep this one i'll be honest so these are the pictures just showing every angle i could get really nice looking thing it looks like something out of halo or something just love the design of that and yeah 20 pounds plus 4.99 shipping i can't remember how much i paid i think i picked it up in a bundle and it was probably a couple of pounds in the bundle so yeah that one's gone uh, another little bundle again i just picked out all of the zombie strike ones there's four zombie strike ones there and then two that aren't officially zombie strike ones, but they're green, the ones on the left there. Um, and a bunch of zombie strike ammo that had come, you know, in dribs and drabs in various bundles. There's a little grey holster up there top right as well, which you clip to your belt. And it just makes a really nice themed lot. They just look presentable. It looks like a nice, concise little bundle when everything's themed like this. And yeah, it works. Not great money on that, $24.99 uh, with $6.99 postage. But if you tried to sell these particular guns individually, it would be a lot of hard work. There's so many all over eBay. So quick way of getting them out of the door. Hello, Leza here. How are you? Um, there's a bloke. This is Sammy the Seal. There's a bloke at my local car boot sale does packs of 10 Nerf darts for 50 pence. Is that comparatively expensive to importing from China? It might be more pricey, but you can get them there and then. 
if you if you do import them and get them super cheap, you're going to wait. I I should know how much they cost me, but off offhand, I can't remember. I bought about five hundred, <laughs> so I can't remember how what, how it breaks down. Uh, Krillin says, "Did you buy those guns in a lot or collect them and make a listing?" I have been saving them up since the beginning of this boot sale season, or since the end of last summer, actually. Um, and I pick them up individually or in big bundles, both. And then I've just been chucking them in crates. And a couple of weeks back, sorted them all out into themed lots. And away they go. Um, right, that's the end of Nerf. Uh, quick Polaroid. Uh, these are perennials worth picking up. This was, let's go into it. I don't think I've actually had this one before. Slightly unusual looking one. There you go. I can't remember what the name of it was. They all have slightly different catalog numbers and stuff. Um, let's have a look. It just says Polaroid Instant Image System Quintic Lens. There you go. Wasn't in the best condition, as you can see from the pictures. A little bit scuffed up, scratched up. £35 free shipping. I think I remember paying a pound. It might have been two on that. Easy peasy, job done. Octonauts, I think I may have shared this on Facebook as well. This was a couple of weeks back. Um, I I owe this tip to somebody on YouTube. It may have been Sue when Sue started making videos, or it could have been somebody before that. Um, Octonauts is a TV program. Um, my daughter had grown out of kids' TV by the time this was big, so I hadn't really heard of it. And I must have passed by loads of this. I had a tip, like I say, from somebody on YouTube or Facebook or somewhere. And I've been picking it up ever since. This was one big bundle. As you can see, everything included in the picture there. Uh, I got $59.99 and £8 to cover the courier costs. And it's great. Yeah, I think I've got a couple of bundles left listed that I think I'm going to reduce a bit to shift them. Um but it's worth looking out for. If you're not sure how to recognize it, just browse around on eBay, get it into your head what these little figures look like. And yeah, easy to list, easy, easy to sell. That one did stick around for a while because I priced it top end of what I think I could have possibly got. That was on a couple of months. Um, Sammy the Seal says, uh, that's exactly what I thought. I don't really deal with Nerf guns, but want to get rid of them quick when I do. So I usually just bite the bullet and get them from the boot fair. All right, the ammo. Yeah, fair enough. Keith, hi there. Says, I'm in Ireland listing and watching and drinking while multitasking. <laughs> nice. Okay, only a couple left. Right. Ah, oh, Vintage Rubik's Clock Puzzle. You may have watched. We did a... What were we doing? We were out and about on a charity shop run. I think Andrew and I had a free Saturday. I think Ellen had gone to London for something. And we were at the counter buying some stock in a charity shop. And we, we both got a ka-ching. And it was this. I think I said it wrong in that video. I had in my head that I'd listed it at 20. I hadn't. It was 15 99 as you can see there. Free shipping as well, although this went to Italy, um, so it was uh, paid postage international, and that was, I think it was $12.99, uh, may have been a tenner, it was quite light. So, yeah, and that cost 20 pence, and I bought it the week before I listed it, and it was sold within a couple of days of, of listing, so, yeah, worth looking out for. I've had this twice in the box, but I've picked it up loose more times than that you'll quite often find them shoved in the bottom of rummage boxes um just that little center part is what you're looking for if you're from my generation you'll remember this i didn't like this one i couldn't figure this one out i've, I've managed to complete rubik's cube with the help of youtube videos but this no nope, not a chance and the box was really quite smashed up look at that it's all bashed up but it sold Okay, two more to go. And, oh, right. 
Oh, you remember last sales round up I shared, I shifted um, that Scythe board game and the expansion pack for, um, what did it sell for? 60, something like that. That was part of a bundle of board games that I bought off one stall and I paid £40 a lot. In fact, we scrabbled around because we we had almost spent all of our money and I think they let us off a few pounds because we we literally couldn't scrape together 40 quid. It was so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I sold the, the Scythe ones. I sent a couple up to Amazon. I sold the Doctor Who one at Amazon for four. No, it might have been 30, 30 or 40 at Amazon. Uh, and this one, this is Sea King's strategy game, uh, has gone at 25 free shipping. So, yeah, that really paid off. I've got a couple left. I think I might have one or two at Amazon and another couple left listed on eBay from that bundle. But yeah, really pleased with those. Uh, Fritz, hi there, Fritz says, I'm from the Thunderbirds generation. All right, okay. The original Thunderbirds, not the modern one, I take it you're talking about. Sammy the Seal, my solution to Rubik's Cubes, dot, dot, dot. Peel off the stickers and stick them back on. Now, I resorted to that. I had one back when they were huge in like 1983 or five or whatever it was. Couldn't do it whatsoever. And I peeled the stickers off and stuck them back on. But it was so obvious because they didn't stick back on right, did they? Wow. Uh, Pete Harrison says, how much can you pick up Octonauts for at the boot sales? Depends what the seller's selling it for. Just keep looking and you'll find some cheap ones. Hmm. Um, Peter says, Nick, have you got any more boxes going up to Amazon? Uh, yes, I sent up, what was it, four, three or four over the last week or so. I probably got another, well, easily three or four to go of, of toys and games. Right, last one before I let you all get on with your evenings. Now CDs. Um, I sorted out a stack that's been building up for ages recently now reached 100 and i'd been saving mine up until that point because i thought that the demand would increase i've sold i think three bundles or two bundles and a couple of individual ones but they haven't gone really fast um i've actually reduced my prices on the other smaller bundles i've got left um well actually i've got one big bundle left on at about 100 pounds which hasn't sold. This sort of medium sized one has gone, as you can see, for 50. And then I've done a few like 30 to 39, maybe with the odd one missing, those sort of size bundles. For, they were on for around 20. I think they're on at about 15 now. Um, generally, the average I pay for these works out to be around sort of 20 odd P. So it's worth doing. They've not been selling as quick as I'd hoped, I'll be honest um there's plenty of bundles all over ebay but when you consider that's 50 quid free shipping shipping was about six seven pounds something like that um what would that have cost me one two three four so one two three four six pounds max so yeah still some money in it um yeah happy days right i'm gonna end screen share and we'll see how bad. Normally, when I come out of screen share after sharing a bunch of windows, my voice is out of sync with the picture. So let me know when it comes back to me, which it should do in a second. How bad is the sync with my mouth? Because last time I did this, it was way out. Just wait for the chat to catch up. And then we will wrap this one up. Oh, excuse me. Uh, still good. It's fine. Right. Okay. Because what I did this time was what people have recommended. And I always forget to do is close down each window as I go. And that seems to have made a difference. The sink is fine. You normally speak like that. Hi, Simon. <laughs> the EV side who's just popped up there is uh, my good friend Simon. We were out for a beer the other night. Click on Simon's. Um, name there and go through and check out his channel he's got a channel all about electric vehicles um he drives an electric bmw 
and he's got a channel all about the rise of electric vehicles fascinating stuff go over take a look please if you can it's a great guy um sink is way off your mouth is miming about octonaut still no it's not bc <laughs> it's out of sync for me but it could be because i'm an american <laughs> okay so i'm slightly out of sync okay okay simon there click on me yeah go and click on simon's channel and have a browse I'm going to leave you there. I have a bottle of wine with my name on it in the living room. So Quillen says, Nick, you are always out of sync. Your jaw moves to the side. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, on that bombshell, I'm going to leave you there. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope there's some information in there that may help you when you're outsourcing uh, to make a bit of money. If you do enjoy these videos, there's loads of sales, roundup on, sales roundups on my channel. So go and have a browse, pick out a few and pick up some hints and tips. <laughs> Still talking about how badly out of sync I am, so I am out of sync, or oh, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.